I found this novelty gift in the free cycling bins at work. Touch sensitive finger drums in the shape of Caribbean steel pans. It should play steel pan sounds through the integrated speaker whenever you touch the metal pads. It unfortunately no longer works. The LED doesn't even light. Opening it up reveals a single circuit board with two blobs. The electronics for novelty gifts probably weren't designed to last for more than a few days. Whatever broke is probably under one of those blobs and I won't be able to fix it. I might however be able to make use of the buttons and the touch pads. My idea is to replace those faulty blob chips with a microcontroller such as the ESP32 which has 10 capacitive touch pins. With the D1 mini board I'm using, two of those capacitive touch pins have been tied down to ground. That leaves eight for soldering to the finger pan contacts. I didn't record myself soldering the connections to the buttons as the wires were getting a bit crowded. I'm using 10K pull down resistors on four of the buttons. Although the ESP32 does provide its own pull down resistors on most GPIO pins, I wanted to keep those pins free for use with SPI or I2C modules I might add in the future. So I've soldered the buttons to the input only pins which lack these pull down resistors. I've also added this wooden stick to brace the ESP32 board against the rear of the enclosure where I had drilled a hole earlier. This is so when I plug in the USB cable it doesn't push the D1 Mini out of position. Now I'd like to test the current work in progress before adding any more electronics. There is enough here to use this as a human interface device that connects via Bluetooth. I shall make use of this excellent ESP32 BLE mouse library that is available on GitHub. Each steel pan has a ring made from three segments, making it possible to tell the difference between a clockwise or anti-clockwise wiping gesture. The left steel pan controls horizontal, the right steel pan controls vertical. The center touch pads are for left and right clicking. The buttons can be used to change modes so that the right steel pan now functions as a scroll wheel. And we can also drag to select text. You might think positioning a cursor using this device would be inferior to a regular mouse. But when you want to be damned sure that you're moving parallel to the rows or columns of text, the Etch-a-Sketch controls cannot be beaten. This early version of the firmware is pretty rough around the edges. The calibration and filtering of the capacitive touch input needs a lot of improvement. There are ghost clicks and the vertical movement is not very robust. As a proof of concept, it performed better than expected. I think next I shall add a lithium polymer battery and reconnect the speaker so it could once again be used as a musical instrument.